Good afternoon, everybody. Joe here, and happy Tuesday. So, I talk about minimalism and my health, and I just try to be raw and real and honest. I look like a mess today because my stamina is just not, I don't have any today. So, just drinking coffee and trying to stay awake and but i did want to put out this video for you guys because this weekend with my mental decluttering i had a huge mental and emotional breakthrough with something that i've struggled with for a long time so back my senior year of high school Um, my English teacher had us write a uh, where do you want to be in five years letter to ourselves and then she was going to mail it to us and you know five years after we graduated so we could look back and see it but um the eleven letter never got to me, so I don't know what happened, but anyways, so in that letter I talked about how I wanted to live in the city and own a place in the city and have gone to interior design school, interior decorator school, and to have that as my career and all these, you know, lofty you know having lofty plans because at that time I thought it was going to be a long time before my body got bad and I thought I could at least have it that way for at least a few years because I was still very much in denial even though I've been dealing with this since birth. So, well, graduated high school and life happened and it just, I tried doing community college and it didn't work and it wasn't a good fit for me and so, college was an option and then life just turned out very differently than what I had put in that letter and so I've been carrying around this feeling like a failure and feeling guilty and angry and upset because I just come from a family of overachievers and not even achieving not achieving my goals it's just I've been beating myself up about it for years and this weekend I was finally able to let it go because I realized that when you're chronically ill when your body doesn't is fights against you and you're fighting against yourself basically that you can't achieve your goals it just looks different sometimes than what you write out or how you think it's gonna happen so it has been way longer than five years since I graduated. It's been more than 12 years since I graduated. And I realized that 
those goals I set back in high school that have I had those things all at once? Absolutely not. Um, no, I didn't go to university and get a degree, but I have been able to do interior decorating and interior design and helping like friends and family with it as a hobby. So I think that still counts and I'm going to take that as a win. And also I have lived in cities before and actually did live in the city I wanted to live in within that five year span after I graduated high school. And another goal was I want um, in that letter I'm afraid of jinxing it, of it not happening. So I don't want to say it out loud and have it not come to pass and to feel really disappointed again. But it looks like it's going to happen this year or within the next couple of years. So I realized this weekend that Even though things didn't happen in the time I thought they were going to happen. Even though they didn't happen exactly the way I thought they were going to happen. I still consider it a success. Because even though it looks differently than how I would have written out. Even though it looks differently than... how everybody else is able could do it or is able to do it how I've done it having it as a hobby and living in the city over the years and stuff so that's just a huge weight off because thinking back that's kind of that well that's kind of always made me feel bad even though it's over 12 years of just mentally beating myself up and I didn't realize how much it was affecting me until this weekend and letting that go and realizing that I did succeed. So that's what I wanted to talk about is that if there's a goal you've had or something you intended to do, really think about it and even if how it turns out is different than what you planned, and it just looks differently or turns out differently, I would say give yourself that credit and say that yes, no, you did do it. It did happen. It just didn't happen necessarily in your time frame or exactly how you had it set on a piece of paper or in your head or whatever so it just feels so good to have that emotional weight mental weight lifted off and I hope it's an encouragement To everybody and 
So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will have my email and my Instagram in the description box below. I do not know how to link them, but I will have them down below so you can at least be able to email me or Instagram me or, or whatever if you choose to or want to. I'm open to suggestions and ideas or questions. So, I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Loves.